Come back to the balance that of Telestin Messi. Good morning, Niger Show. Now, you know, say, um, as we, earlier, if you don't do watch the show, you go here, we'll be talk about the one way uh, the richest man in Africa, and of course, richest man in Nigeria, Oga Ali Kudangote, been talk about the 19 governors for the northern part of Nigeria. So, we then took eye inside agriculture, say, because uh, the northern part of this country no get business with hunger and starvation and poverty. Now, we get some young people, we don't they start their own initiative with regards to do with agriculture to make sure, say, agriculture they lucrative. And say agriculture will help produce food for different parts of the country. Now they call themselves United Young Farmers Forum, and uh, one of the projects where they do now uh, Oga for Agriculture, if I'm not mistaken. Now we get Michael Jagada in the building, and uh, he go tell us more about this particular initiative. Good, initiative. Uh, good morning, Michael. Yeah, good morning, uh -huh. Good morning, Nigeria. Exactly. Now, uh, well, first of all, I would like commend our efforts. Say now agriculture on a put eye inside because we know say. Um, even though the government they try to push agriculture forward to the next level, uh, the growth where we they see and see very, very as we call it, very minimal growth as regards so many other things. Now, first of all, we would like maybe tell us about this United Young uh, Farmers Forum. Am I, am I correct? Yes, you're correct. Yeah, tell us what is this, this forum there about? Okay, thank you very much. United Young Farmers Forum is a coalition of young agropreneurs. Mm. We call ourselves agropreneurs. Um, agropreneur basically means an entrepreneur mm. who is in agriculture. Mm. So basically, we are a coalition of about uh, 250,000 young agropreneurs mm. nationwide across 36 uh, states in Nigeria and plus FCT. So it's a platform we put in place to make sure that we empower young Nigerians to venture into agriculture. It's a coalition of young farmers who is, who is constantly ensuring that, okay, agriculture sector of Nigeria is at the top gear. So our major vision, our driving force is to ensure that people, you know, young Nigerians doesn't work on the streets aimlessly without having to do anything. And then we want to consolidate on the effort of federal government and other stakeholders to make sure that, because we've been hearing a lot, I heard you say just now that um, the government are moving towards, you know, empowering people in agriculture and all mm -hmm. that. So our mission is to consolidate on those efforts to make sure that, okay, it is this diversification of, you know, uh, uh, economy into agriculture is not only on paper. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a realistic effort. So we are trying to do a pragmatic approach into it to make sure that people on the downstream sector, you know, people who are on the streets, people who are, you know, are, you know, seeing agriculture as more lucrative and embrace it mm -hmm. Even practically, that's basically why the United Young Farmers Forum is being put in place. We are bridging the gap between agri itself, the project, I mean, the business of agriculture, yeah. and those who want to do it. To do it. Okay, that's, that's what beautiful. we do. When, what time would have been start this particular um, initiative? All right, uh, UYFF, United Young Farmers Forum, we've been for a long time. Mm. Uh, we've done a lot of projects, but this particular one that we that I'm here to talk about called. Um, uh, Nesto Guy in Agri. Nesto Guy in Agri is just a platform for us to raise young agropreneurs and mm. empower them, mentor them, making sure that they, their produce, their agro produce, um, are being of take uh, by some people. We have of takers scheme that are going to of take those whatever they are going to produce. So it's an empowering platform. Um, we've been for, we've been putting this together almost about a year now. Uh, we are about to launch it. Basically, we'll do a press conference any moment from now and the whole Nigerian can actually subscribe to it. So we have been for a long time as a group, as a, as, as a platform, mm. but this project that is coming on board is just, it's a, it's when, a when you say for a long time, like how many years this UIFF? Don't, okay, don't UIFF has been for almost 10 years, mm. but officially, we've, we started running, we started running in Abuja, um, but uh, officially when we registered with um, Corporate Affairs Commission is about 2017, yes. Mm. 2017. Yes, 2017. All right, now within this particular period, make I first, let me can start with you first of all. All right. Um, you now graduate from school. Yes, sir, of which, course. What did you study for school? I studied accounting. Accounting. Yes. All right. And now you don't get into agriculture for how long? Yes, I've been. In, I was born into agri. Mm. So, uh, like I used to say, any platform I find myself, I would say I was born into agri. I, I, I started being taken into the farm by my by my granddad, mm. my grandfather. You know, so I graduated I, I, from there, and then me officially farming. I've, I've started farming since about five years ago. So I started with uh, watermelon farm. I started farming watermelon. I planted watermelon in Ocean State, uh, but I ran lost because because I was in Lagos, um, and then the farm is in Ocean State. So the the back and forth of Ocean to Lagos State made me to actually 
venture into you know unproductive exercise then. But I, I did it again. I, I planted cassava in uh, Ogun State. Uh, it did a very beautiful well, and I, I enjoyed it. Mm. So since then, about five years I've been into this. And within those five years, we know say uh, when you don't already experience it, you ran at a loss the very first time. Yeah. But after that, it's not been lucrative for you. Yes, it's been very wonderful. All right, now tell me for the UIFF, basically the young farmers with inside this group, what do you think is one of the challenges within the face? We will not face the collective challenges we will not face in agriculture in Nigeria for now. Well, it's 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 a it's a very big uh, question. Um, we faced a lot of things. We, we, when we wanted to get certification, when we wanted to get. It, it, we have a lot of issues when we want to get uh, any accreditation from the federal government ministries. Mm. Um, there was a time we wanted to partner with um, um, uh, the Senate, the Eighth Assembly, the current mm -hmm. one. We wrote a project to them, and it took us a long, a lot of time before we even get to present to the committee on agri. So, the process of um, certifications, accreditations, has been a problem. The problem of um, uh, funding. It's, 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 a, it's a major, the major challenge we have in, in Nigeria is mm. we don't have funds to do certain things. And that has, been in, that has been a major standing block for us. So it's been like that, and that's, that's, just, that's just a major problem we have at the moment for a group. All right, but, but now if we don't get this kind of problems, how do I take the courage and the, you know, the, and the way we talk to woo, or we say to yes. toast other young people, yes, so young farmers, other young. you know, to attract other young farmers to come and join this group? That was that. That's the that was the motivating factor mm. that made us to put this thing next to guy in Agri in place. When we realized it's in our strategic meeting in Abuja uh, stakeholder forum, and so we were, we were just talking, and this idea came of next to guy in Agri. So um, we realized that the same thing we are facing as a coalition, individual persons will be facing this. So that's why we are putting this in place to see how do we then solve the problem. The major way to solve the problem is to talk to private sector investors. Mm. So we've been talking to investors to invest into agribusiness, invest into these young guys that want to farm, buy stakes into their farm, you know, uh, buy, you know, become venture capitalists into their, into their projects, and then share the profit together. We're talking to off-takers to say, okay, off-take these people's product produce from the farm so that they don't produce and it gets, I mean, the, the thing waste. Waste so them, yeah. if we have that in place, if we have off-taker scheme in place, people off-take, we have companies the likes of, uh, you know, uh, Flamis companies that mm. I wouldn't want to mention them because we're on there. So if we have all those people in place, the, 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 the certainties will be there for the, for young farmers. They can go all out to go and get loan. Mm. When, when they know that the, 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 the produce will be off-taken by some people. So all those things is, is, is what we are trying to put in place to make sure that if you are just coming newly, we are making sure that we are creating, we are painting the ground to make sure that we paint agriculture so real that when you come in, we will provide a soft landing for you to be able to say, okay, you will get funding, you will get off-takers, you will get technical support, and then we will empower you. That's why, that's what we are doing. That's okay. what we are doing. All right, beautiful. Now, as a body talk, without further ado, I would like to make you explain in details uh, within Oga, next Oga next in Agri, uh, they about. Okay, next Oga in Agri, as I said earlier, it's a pitching platform for young agro mm -hmm. those who are doing it or those who want to just venture into it. You will come, and then we are saying that, you have an idea, fine. Uh, don't keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. You have a land, fine. Put that your idea in a presentation format. Present to the panel to people who are more experienced than you in this particular field. And let them see how lucrative it is, how valuable it is, how profitability it is, and what is the effect of that in nation building, in food security, and in, uh, what do you call it, in employment um, uh, scheme. What number of people are you going to drive out of unemployment? So if you have all those things figured out, and then you have the major number one issue is that you have a problem of how to fund that particular project. Come to us. Mm -hmm. So it's a platform put in place to empower you, 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 you out there that want to venture into agriculture. Come and take the money from here, and then we will monitor you. Mm -hmm. That's basically what it is. Okay. Now, when you say you go monitor these people, for how long will I go monitor them? Because if like I say when I go monitor them, mentor them for a period of time, and then later you will let them continue on their own, or when I go to monitor them as you know forever. Okay. Uh, uh, development is mm. is in stages. So um, I, I would say 
We will first of all monitor them. While they come on board to this nest of guy in Agri, we are going to monitor them. Even aside from the money that we are going to, we are giving up to 2 million naira, 1.5 million, and 1 million. Mm. So, uh, to I think maybe, uh, if I check it very well, about 50 people is going to be, uh, be benefit from this, uh, different stages. Okay. Now, our monitoring or evaluation process is going to be first stage, we will monitor you to making sure that you package your idea, your agro idea, in such that it will be attractive enough for these people that you want to screen you. Mm. Now, after that process, if you win the money, we will still monitor you to say, this is what you want to go into. We monitor you to, to say, you don't run into a problem in this. Okay. So after that monitoring, the other monitoring is to monitor that, to monitor you in such that, what money, that money given to you is meant, it's used judiciously for what you have come to pitch for. Mm. So that is our monitoring. And then also monitor you because we are going to form them into, uh, what do you call it, farmers club. Okay. After they graduated from, after they might have won whatever amount they want to win, we will then coordinate, we will graduate them to farmers club. Each of them that wins in one state will be the chairman of that particular clubs across that state. And then we will put them, we'll put new membership under them. And then we'll be having workshop trainings, engagement with them often time. You know, that's that's basically it. So we are not leaving them on their own, even while they might have become the likes of ambassador farms mm -hmm. and all that. We will still be working closely with them, send them S uh, messages and say, this is the modality, new modalities in agri. Can you venture into this? This is partnership agreement that is going on. Can you key into this project, key into this, key into that? So we expose them to a lot of things. OK, that's beautiful. I know say several, you don't mention the word young, the young yes. farmers, young yes. farmers. Yes. When I get particular age range of farmers, when they look at? OK, for this project, mm -hmm. um, we are looking for, uh, what we are trying to raise is we are raising farmers that has a different mentality to these cutlers and hoes that you think about. Mm -hmm. We want farmers that can put on suits, that can think Farmer that can engage ministers. Mm. So we are looking at the range, range of um, 20, I think 20 will have graduated, 20 mm -hmm. to 45. To 45. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. And if people want, uh, you know, want to involve themselves in this particular project now, what is the process? How, how the defeat take down? Okay. The process is um, they are going to walk into our bank, mm -hmm. um, our official bank, uh, official bank house. They, they have their branches nationwide. They are going to walk into the, any of the bank and then pick Nestor guy in Agri form. Okay. Which There's of those banks are you talking about now? I won't mention our bank at the moment. Okay. We, but they should just follow us on, on our social website. media pages okay. uh -huh. and, and then log on to our website. Mm. And so from there, they, they will see the steps. Okay. But listen, they should, they should listen to your radio station, all the radio station, Cool FM, um, Wasubia Nigeria FM, Info, Nigeria Wasubia, mm. and all your TV platform. Mm -hmm. They are going to be communicating any moment from now. They just look out to whatever is happening in the agri sector. They will hear us big time. Okay. So the process, the steps involved in coming on board, they will get to see it. They will download it themselves, fill in their application, and we'll send the location where they're going to come to pitch their idea, and we'll take it off from there. All right. That's this one, a very, very beautiful initiative where you don't carry it home. So, But I want to ask you one small interesting question. Yeah, yeah, now, among the, the group, the, the um, United Young Farmers, Farmers Forum, Forum um, what would be the percentage of women among the farmers. Oh, great. Absolutely. We have, at the moment, it's about, um, the good thing is that I don't know whether women think that agri is tedious. It's mm. very stressful. So we have a percentage about 30 now at 30%. the moment. 30% mm. to 70% of men. Mm. So we're still trying to say, women, come now, let's rub body together for this project. We, we're there together now. So we are, we are calling on women out there to come and embrace this particular project, sign up, Become member of Nestor Guy, um, United Young Farmers Forum, and then by so doing, you can benefit in uh, Nestor Guy. That's interesting. Now, before we let you go, Thank um, you. they get one question where I also want to ask. Now, you don't tell me before, say, you've been studying accounting. Yes. You know, but you don't start agriculture right from age five. You don't even follow your grandfather. Yes, I, think, I, think I know say, many people also will get this kind of story where you don't talk. Yes, of course. But how about the professionals? By professionals, I mean people who actually go st study agricultural science professionally. Yeah. They go to university, go learn these things. Now, them supposedly, Get then they're supposed to get the you know the technical know how. Wow. Shall so we they see them inside the agricultural sector? Because we don't say largely we go see people who go study agriculture, they work for bank, or people who study Yoruba, they work for bank. You know, they, they begin one time for instance Nigeria, we say the, the banking sector, they've been the highest employers of labor, fresh mm. graduates. Mm. But now, based on what we do, shall we they, do? So they see scenarios or cases where we say people actually study agricultural science or different parts of agriculture and then they actually come put them? to judicious use? 
Well, um, at the moment, the rate of that is very, is very low. Mm. The rate of you know people who really studied agriculture and then doing agriculture is very low. You also see that people want to go into where you have the big money. Mm. The agriculture, the, the money in an agri, it is not that money that flashes like 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 flashlight. It come is a stream. So I realized that people don't want to wait. Most time people do study the agriculture, oh, let me just get a job in Ministry of Agri and been doing paperwork, not the farm work. Mm. So let me quickly go into bank and be head of agri desk. You know all these banks they have yes. agri desk. So they want to go into that bank. They will be called banker, but normally they are heading agri desk. Mm. They might not be doing transactions of um, you know deposit, fixed deposit, mm. you know uh, forex and all that. But they do only um, farm um, agri projects and all that. So you realize that they, 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 the determining factor is that people don't want to go into the farm. The people who even study mm. agric, they studied agric. Most of the people who studied agric, they didn't want to study agric. Yeah. Take that from me. Which is the truth. They studied agric because there was no option. Yeah, no option. I didn't give them. I don't they take for house. Mm. And there's mission no come. And then they offer me for a very low cut off for, mm. for Ogun State Ministry, I mean, Ogun, yeah, I mean, but on you, I, your mm. University of Agri somewhere. Mm. Let me quickly go uh, so that I don't lost in this particular uh, one corner. Mm. That's why you see people. So the passion was not, the initial intention was not to, to go and study, go, go and, study and Greek and do Agri. It was for me to move out of my house and then go and study something. I can take that by in as much that the bank will take it. Mm. All sectors will take it. Um, the government agencies to take it. That's why. That's what we have. But we are calling on youth. Please come. If you have studied agri, let's work together because you have an experience in this. I studied accounting. I've been working as a marketing for for about ten years. I studied accounting. Mm. I've worked as a marketing. I've worked in insurance. I've worked in microfinance bank. I've worked in uh, what do you call it? I've worked in pharmaceutical. So I'm just saying that let's come together. If you studied agri and you know you know it. Put a, put a call through to me if there's a way you can actually contribute. Let's see what we can do together. Beautiful. Now, uh, before we uh, finally, I would like to make you tell us how people will take reach you or reach you now uh, on social media or yeah. how, how do we take reach you now? Okay, we are, we are on social platform. We, yeah. All the social platform, you know, we are there. Um, we are on Instagram. Mm -hmm. On Instagram is at Nest Oga in Agri. One word mm -hmm. Nest Oga in Agri. And on Facebook, we are also on Facebook. It's called at Nest Oga in Agri. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on, on LinkedIn, we're on LinkedIn, it's at Nestor Guy in Agri. We are on Twitter, it's at Nestor Guy in Agri. And then we're on YouTube, it's at Nestor Guy in Agri. And then I can actually give out a phone number, a correspondent phone number. Okay. Um, if you want to reach us uh, for any inquiries or sponsorship or anything, you call 080-208-66, triple uh, sister, sorry, and 59. Mm -hmm. 080-208-66. Triple six five nine, or you call zero eight zero three double five nine one six twenty three. Zero eight zero three double five nine one six two three. So if you call all those numbers, somebody will speak with you, and then you will get to know more about it. In fact, a wonderful, wonderful thing that you do so because uh, we will say we cannot overemphasize the importance of agriculture. Thank so thank you so much, Michael Jagger. They say when I don't carry this one come out, and we do hope. See all of the watch us out there, and uh, you don't see this betterment to be this young people want to do for us for example, Bodo, Nigeria. We have to improve agriculture. And uh, not be one day, nine dango to start rich where in day. Uh, he knows has to take rich day. And basically in agriculture, nine carry and rich where day. Who talks say you know if be you no know, be the next dango Who talks say you know if be the next big name or big thing concerning the agriculture? We get arable land for inside Nigeria mm. and we we'll use them for farming. Once again, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you very much. All right. To enjoy more of this, our we'll Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.